Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's very Animal Crossing themed video, as you can probably already tell. Tonight we're going to be unboxing Series 1 and Series 2 of the Tomodachi Animal Crossing sets. These were released by Bandai. Um, I had to pre-order both of these sets, I think at different points last year. And the first set arrived, I think, in the fall, and Series 2, right here, came out mm, within the last month or so. I just got mine in. I hadn't opened any of these little cuties. I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and open them all together so we can enjoy them. And if you haven't heard about this set, it'll be a nice surprise. I think they're a little more um, unknown, although I'm sure many of you have seen them. This set is really cute. If you like um, calico critters, if you like Sylvanian families, you'll love these because they're very tiny flocked figures, much like Sylvanian families, except these are all Animal Crossing characters, and in each set of Series 1 and Series 2, there's different favorites, fan favorites, I would say, if you're asking me. Uh, many of these characters are very popular. So, I'm just so excited to open them with you. I had to make a little bit of a fun set for us today. So we have this very special spot that we can place whatever little buddy we're looking at. These are just made of felt. And I made these little daisies in these trees as well. Just to really celebrate this collection from Bandai. It's so cute. Let's go ahead and get into unboxing all these little friends. Let's kick things off tonight by opening a villager from series one. I'm going to show you also the difference between the series one and series two packaging. Obviously, there's a lot of similarities, but there's also some differences, too. For example, Series 1 has this green border on the window. Series 2 has an orange. That makes sense. You want to differentiate them, right? But notice how on Series 1, the graphics are not in English in Series 2. They are. I find that interesting. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but that's the way it is. And on the tops here, we can see all of the characters that are released in each set. And the backs are pretty much the same. You know, just general toy stuff that they have to put on. All small toys. They're little. These are little toys. Alright, let's go ahead and open up Flurry. I'm very excited. to stay 
hand them up where they need to go. There we go. Oh my gosh, Flurry. I hope that you can tell how tiny Flurry is. She's so cute. She's a little hamster. She's got this like floral sweater on. She's so soft. I love the flocking on these guys. Like, it's so cute. They're really soft. Um, I'm gonna put Flurry on the special stand. Oh, I should probably open this up. Okay, that just sits in like that. So I can put that right there. I'll put Flurry right on the... Oh, so cute. I love how this stand is. It doesn't like wrap around her body. She just sits right there in the stand. Yeah, I'm very, very tempted to eat this candy right now, but since I'm gonna open up a bunch of them, I guess I'm gonna have a bunch of candies. I'll be honest with you guys, I had no idea. Temptation is it's there right now. Flurry, you sit tight. We're gonna open up a friend for you. Who should we open? I think we should probably open another series one. Oh, I know. Let's open Dom. Everybody loves Dom, so let's let's open him up. Dom is very beloved in the Animal Crossing community. He is a jock type villager, so very sporty, very athletic. You can see he has this little tie dye shirt on, and he has pink skin and white fur with little pink um, horns. Are they horns? Yeah. A ram. A ram has horns, right? And he's known also for his like big sparkling eyes. He's very, very cute. Go ahead and open Tom. Put the box right there. There's my candy for later, as well as Tom's little stand. Oh, so, so cute. I love him already. Okay, come here, Tom. Hello, my little friend. Oh, his face is so soft. Very happy to introduce you all to my little friend, Dom. His um, little horns are not flocked, which I think is such a nice touch. They have like this sort of mix of matte and shiny plastic. And as well, his little eyes are not flocked as well, so it gives them kind of like a sparkly shiny kind of, you know, oh, so cute sort of quality. And then check out his little tie-dye shirt. I'm actually kind of jealous. I want a shirt like this. He's like a little bit bigger than Flurry, which is nice. Like, I like that they're not all exactly the same size because in the game, you know, there's size variations. So, this is the thing about the flocking, like I just can't stop touching it, it's so soft. Let's make his little stand for him. He should go in the special spot right now, actually. I don't know why I had so much trouble putting Flurry's stand together and then Dom's was like really, really easy, so who knows why. Let's move this little daisy. There's these two little cuties. Let's go ahead open another from series one. Who should we pick? I think that next I'd like to open Flick because he's so cute and one of my favorites too. So we've got our two little villagers. Let's open a special guest character. Can you call him a special guest? I don't know. He's, he's a visitor to your island. He's not um, like an actual villager you can get, but 
it's still very special nonetheless. So Flick is a bug enthusiast. Um, Nat was the original host of the Bug Off in previous Animal Crossing lore, and Flick is his son, and he occasionally visits uh, to collect bug specimens. Flick loves bugs, and Flick is an artist, so if you pay him, you commission him, he will make you a little sculpture. It's more of like a, a bust <laughs> of your bug of choosing. One of my favorite uh, little sculptures you can have Flick make are the butterflies. I think they're just so pretty to have on an island. Alright, let's open our friend Flick. He's so tall, oh my goodness. Is he taller than Dom? I can't even tell. It's hard to tell in the packaging. Hmm. Maybe you can see him. Oh yeah, he's way taller. Oh my goodness. Flick is easily our tallest little friend so far. He has this black leather vest on and these plaid pants. I guess he's very punk, isn't he? And he has this little piercing on his um, spikes. Because he's a little lizard. He's like a, would you say he's a chameleon? He doesn't really change colors, does he? He's definitely a lizard. Maybe a lizard experts will weigh in in the comments. I'm admittedly not a lizard expert, so really cute. I love his, like, kind of overhead expression. He's just, he's very punk. Oh, look at it. He even has a little detail in the back of his vest. That's so cute. I love it. Alright, let's make his little stand for him so that he can, oh, sorry, Dom. You're gonna, you're gonna go sit over here for right now. So this is interesting. Flick stand is Actually different from uh, Dom and Flurry's. It's like a little sort of claw-shaped stand, like that. And then I suppose it just, yeah, it just his little tail rests on it like that. Oh, nice! He looks cute. He just looks completely over this, like we've set out a little birthday celebration for him. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> That's so him. Actually, I'm going to put him to the side there so you get the full. There we go. He's cute. I'll move these little guys over. I like for them to all be together. So it looks like they're celebrating. What are they celebrating? I don't know. Just being here. Alright, we've got a couple more Series 1 boxes. I think that next I would like to open Lolly. So let's open Lolly up. She's so cute. It goes without saying that I love a cat villager. <laughs> Actually, on my island, I don't think I really have had many cat villagers other than maybe Raymond. But Lolly is like, kind of like an OG villager. She's so cute. She's a normal type villager with a hobby of music. And speaking of music, she's also on, I think, two or three different KK Slider album covers. So famous. Try to get her autograph if you can. It's kind of a big deal to be on a KK Slider cover. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open Lolly up here. Oh, she's so cute already. Take the little stand and candy out. Lolly, so cute. 
So Lolly has some really sweet details. First of all, I love how, like, really pointy her little ears are. They're like, I don't know, just, I love the design. It's so cute. Her eyes are really sweet and simple. And then she has, like, this wonderful kind of wintry print sweater on, which is so cute. Look at the details all around the back. Her tiny little tail, it's so small. And then there's this lovely striping in her fur, and her little paws are white. So precious. I think I'm like still kind of taken aback by just how small and compact the design on these are. They're really well designed that uh, they're so effective and detailed even though they're so little, you know, and very soft. Alright, Lolly, let me put your stand together. Um, sorry, Flick, we're gonna move you over. Go right there. This is so interesting. Um, our two first little buddies had the same stand, but the next two have had stands individual to them that fit just their own little specific character model. I'm really interested to see, like, how many stands there will be overall. Like, so. Oh, she's so cute. Lolly, you're a princess for right now because you look so good with green and the orange. Very good job. Color coordinated. She always shows up with uh, the right outfit, I think. We have opened four of series one. Only a couple left of series one. There were seven critters, villagers, I suppose, in series one. And in series two, there are eight villagers. Although, like I said, they're not all villagers. Some of them are like special visitors, but eh, for the sake of this, we'll just call them all um, villagers. I think it might be time to open our good friend, Isabel. I think we've waited long enough. I'm not even sure what to say about Isabel because she is just truly so iconic with this game, like, when people think of Animal Crossing, they think of Isabel, you know, I mean, she has become synonymous with this game in the way that Tom Nook has, and for me personally, she's easily one of my favorite characters. She kind of plays, I suppose, an assistant to you, the player. She's just the best, and we have her in kind of the little summer outfit. She's got her, like, island shirt on. Um, I think my favorite look for Isabel has got to be the winter look, but all Isabels are cute Isabels. Who am I to complain? All right, Isabel, it's time to... Really early in the morning, do our makeup real quick, not 
paying too much attention. There is no judgment here from me, Isabel. Her little ears, I'm sorry, they're so cute. She's just the cutest. I love Isabel. I love her little tail, her little bell up here. Like, Isabel is just, she's so cute. I mean, I love dog characters, it has to be said. Especially ones with like, I just think she's precious. She also has this really cute little orange blush on her face. And she just has sort of like um, a self-possessed sort of pleased expression. She's just peaceful. You know, she's just like, it's fine. It'll all work out. We'll figure it out. You know, it's so cute. Honestly, the printing imperfection is not even that obvious, but you know. I'm sitting here, like, holding it right up to my face, so that's why I'm from far away, like, you really, it's not a big deal. Alright, Isabel, let's get you set up in your little stand here. Isabel's stand is, like, one of the claw-type stands, so her little tail kind of fits in right like this. Oh, look at her. She looks great. She's up here being like, okay, Mayor, let me help you. I'm here to run whatever kind of new procedures you'd like to have in our town, on our island. Honestly, I'm looking at our little friend set up here and I'm like, I did not think this through. This is only five and we're already getting kind of a crowded time, town square, so. It's fine. We'll fit them all. There's room for everybody. Especially with Isabel here. Oh, I love her so much. I think it's time we introduced the wonderful Mr. Tom Nook to the situation, don't you? What to say about Tom Nook? He tends to be weirdly a polarizing figure in the Animal Crossing world. People either love him or jokingly hate him. I don't think people really sincerely hate him. But, uh, you know, he's got a big personality. Um, he operates the village store as well as, uh, he largely, <laughs> I don't want to say he rules your life, but he gives you loans to make your house bigger and all kinds of little uh, schemes <laughs> and very legitimate operations as well of course it has to be said and here he is wearing his little island shirt with the leaf print which I love. he looks so done with it he's like just take me out of this box I can't handle Mr. Nook, it's time for your island debut. Apparently this is my island, okay? Just, just go with it. I'll be totally honest with you guys. I did not expect to love him this much. His coloring is so vibrant. Like, honestly, his coloring is even more vibrant than Isabel. Seems so lovingly sculpted. Like, I love his tummy, I love his tail. He's so, so cute. He's definitely in a contender spot for, like, for honestly, one of my favorites so far. I just think that his sculpt is so lovingly done. All the little buttons on his shirt, his little nose. I love the fact that they made his clothes like a matte plastic. They didn't put the flocking on it. So that creates kind of a difference 
and texture, right? So you got this really soft spots for the fur and then the clothing, it just makes it interesting to look at. His little tail is so cute. You have to love this. Like, he, this is a lovingly made toy. I appreciate that. Alright, let's get you all set up. Okay, Isabelle, you're just gonna go over here for a little bit. So, Tom Nook, or I suppose Mr. Nook, we're not really on a first name basis yet. He has this sort of like crab claw base that seemingly the villagers with like big poofy tails seem to have that kind. Gosh, he looks great. Oh, I just love him. He's so cute. I I just love the colors are so vivid on him. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six villagers, meaning we have one series one villager left. Do you have any guesses as to what you think it is? Well, you think on that, and I'm gonna move this little tree, we'll put that right there because our last villager was hiding in the back. This villager's name, if you don't recognize him, is Marshall. Marshall is a smug type of villager. He's a squirrel and he's very cute. He looks like a little fluffy marshmallow. And he has like, kind of like, I don't know, it's like stylish hair, but it's kind of like in his face and you can see his little, hmm, he has a little smug expression. He is a lot of people's favorites. I like him. He's not necessarily one of my favorites. Um, he is one of my good friend's like absolute favorites though. And so, therefore... He holds a special fondness in my heart. He is so little. Can you see how much smaller he is compared to the other ones? Oh, I can't wait to open this one up just so we can see how little he is. And you can see on the side of the box all of our friends now. We've got Isabel, Tom, Nook, like Flurry, Lolly, Tom. And Marshall. And soon Marshall will be able to roam the island freely, I guess you could say. What kind of stand does Marshall have? Oh, I think this was the same kind that Flurry had. So little. I bet that's why. Oh my goodness, he is so little. He's so small. Oh my gosh. Sorry. He's just like, he's petite. He's very little. If you thought the hamster was small, wait till you see how little Marshall is. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that. Unlike Calico Critters, Sylvanian families, these little guys don't have any points of articulation. You can't move the arms or legs. Like, the heads don't turn, which is fine for me. Like, I, I'm not really gonna set them up in elaborate displays exactly, but you know, it's good to note. And especially with how small these little guys are here really missing out on too much by not being able to turn their heads. If you want to pose them, we can just turn their little bodies around. Look at the little cinnamon swirl in Marshall's tail. Oh, he's so cute. Let's set up this last remaining villager with his little Set the little stand up here. The 
stand definitely is like in support of Marshall's big fluffy tail. Please right this way, Mr. Nook. We need to accompany you. Down off the stage, please. Um, everyone's favorite squirrel buddy needs to be the center of attention at the moment. He's, I can't, I'll stop saying it, I swear, but he is so little. Look at, look at him. He's, he's a shorty, that's for sure. I love it. We're gonna have to do a little bit of rearranging here. So, those are all the series one little friends. Now we're gonna go start series two. Who should we start with? I think I'd like to start with CJ, actually, for our Series 2 Tomodachi dolls. I really like CJ. I think he's so cute. I could be biased a little bit because he is a beaver and beavers are the official animal of my country, Canada. So, but on top of that, he's so cute. I think he's like the perfect, um, almost modernization of Animal Crossing because CJ is a live streamer. He's really into fishing and he loves to live stream all of his fishing uh, excitement, I guess. And he tries to get you on his live stream too in the game. And yeah, I really like him and his little vest is so cute. I can't wait to see what he's like in this little doll. Take your little stand out here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There is no candy in this toy. These are the two different parts of the stand, but there is no candy. Again, I didn't even know that the other one was going to come with candy, but now that there's no candy, I'm like, what, what, what's happening? Where's my little candy? I don't know. Here you are, CJ. You're free now, my little friend. Oh wow, he is even cuter than I expected. I'm going to do my best not to hold it against this little guy that he did not bring candy with him because look at how cute he is. This is so detailed. So his little backwards cap has the little symbol here. This is like a very detailed toy. He has his little beaver tail right there. He has this little pouch on his pants. I'm assuming this is to keep maybe his phone or his live streaming accessories. He's got like these little cargo shorts with kind of like leggings underneath. I love his little tummy and his vest and he has really sweet little freckles like CJ is just so cute. It's unbelievable. I can probably say that about all of them but I mean, they're just so precious, it's kind of hard to not think of them as being cute, you know? Alright, let's figure out CJ's little stand set up here. Well, we have another crab claw type stand here. Doesn't it just look like a little crab claw? I don't know, I feel like it does. So I'll put that right in there, and we'll boy, CJ. I guess his little tail just kind of rests like that. Um, Marshall, sorry buddy. I gotta move you over a little bit here. But you would be sitting pretty somewhere else, so don't worry about it. I'll put the little stand here. Oh, CJ will be close to Flick. That's good. 
Actually, look at their little... CJ's so short. That's so cute. <laughs> CJ's sculpt has kind of an intense expression. In the game, he's like so jovial and friendly and like just... He's like, it's your boy, you know? His expression here is a little intense, for my opinion anyway, but they're so cute. Alright, let's open another series too. Oh, I know. I want to open Raymond, actually. So I'll just move this tree, put it down right here. There we go. And yeah, I'm itching to open Raymond. Raymond is a smug type villager. He's a cat, obviously, and he was introduced for um, New Horizons, actually, and then later into Pocket Camp. I have never actually played Pocket Camp, which may be a surprise to some of you. I know they have so much, like, cute furniture and stuff in Pocket Camp, but it's just like, you know, one more thing. So I haven't, I haven't gotten into it, but I love Raymond. I somehow lucked out um, with my, like, opening up of New Horizons the very first time I ever opened it. Raymond was one of my first villagers. I didn't even know he was going to become such like a big fan favorite this time around. So I felt pretty lucky that I got him because a lot of people were looking for him, let me tell you. Alright, Raymond, we'll free you now. <laughs> And let's see, nope. No candy for us. I guess we're just not getting candy in series two. Alright, well, it is what it is, folks. At least I have my big stack of other candy to comfort me. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness, look at this fancy gentleman. I always associate Raymond with like being neat and orderly, like his little house in New Horizons looks like an office space basically. He's like if the store like Muji came to life. He's just like very serene. He likes things a certain way. He's so soft. He's got his little waistcoat vest on with a tie, his little glasses. One of the most iconic things about him are his dual colored eyes and his like little whiff of blonde hair here. I really like how they made the glasses like an actual separate piece instead of painting them on his face. Like you could have really seen them doing that, just like having it be printed on they actually did a little mold of the glasses. It's so cute. And his ears, like his head shape is very similar to Lolly actually. They have these like pointy pointy ears and the little tail. So I love Raymond. Look at his little smug expression. I tend to get a lot of smug characters and I really like them. I'm like, how could you not like a little face like this? cat lovers out there, you know this face, calm, serene, appreciative, but maybe not glowingly cuddly. <laughs> so cute. Well, that's it. We'll get you all set up. Don't, don't you worry, Raymond. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think we've had a stand like this before. Let's see. I think I must tuck in his legs there. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Sorry, fellas. We've got to move you out of here for right now. We'll rearrange you in a moment, so please bear with us. We all have to keep our eyes on the star of the show right now. Mr. Nook, can I just shovel you over here a little bit? I have a feeling this is about to become... Pretty crowded little area, actually. But 
there's room for everybody here, so not to worry. And there's Raymond in all his glory, looking so cute, precious. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of eyeing up that KK slider. I think it's time we open up KK so that he can maybe play us a small serenade. KK Slider is just one of those iconic, classic um, Animal Crossing characters, much like Isabel and Tom Nook. I think when a lot of people think about Animal Crossing, they picture KK Slider. He's a musician of many talents, and he doesn't stick to only one style of music. No, no, no. He does everything from polka to pop and acoustics, obviously. Look at him with his little guitar. He looks bigger. Also, has any character besides him had an accessory? Like, he got a guitar. Dang, okay. Well, let's see that guitar. Got our little stand here. And to Mr. KK, it's very nice to meet you. Oh, wow. He looks, he looks great. The mold is so cute on him. His little guitar, he actually has a very simple design when you compare it to other, um, other little friends, but he looks so good. Sometimes the more simple a uh, design is, the harder it is to make it look effective and make it look great. And I have to say, this KK slider looks great. He's got his little guitar here. I want him to sing KK Bubblegum for me. That's my favorite KK slider. And he's just like this cute little white dog with a little tail. He does not have any clothes on. Isn't that interesting? He's somewhat nude, I suppose, but he does have his guitar here, so <laughs> he, he's fine. Um, and he's got these, like, wonderfully thick eyebrows. I think KK's so cute. I think this is a great little design of him, I have to say. I wonder how he'll look with everybody else. Look at this little stand here. I think I'm gonna have to do some major rearranging of all of our little friends to make this work. Okay, Marshall, I think I'm gonna move you over here. Although you're pretty short, so maybe you should be not in the back. Just wanna make sure we've got room for all of our little friends here. Let's see. Fleck, you're pretty tall. Do you remember in school when you'd take photos and it was always like, if you're tall, go stand towards the back. Short people up in the front. I'm pretty short, so I was usually <laughs> shuffling towards the front. Okay, Raymond, there you go. And we all put KK on the stage. It's just like when he plays in the town square. So perfect. Oh, I just love him. He's so cute. We've got quite a few more little friends, so we're gonna have to do our best to fit them all in. It feels like it would be really weird to even think about opening these one at a time. Because they kind of need to be together in my mind, at least. This is Timmy and Tommy, and they are twins. And Timmy and Tommy are Tom Nook's apprentices in the business, I guess you'd say. And although they are twins and they have largely the same mold, um, Tommy has open eyes and Timmy's eyes are like closed and happy, like content. They're really cute. These are two more shorties. These are 
little itty bitty guys and we have to open them together I think you can't have one without the other okay there's one little guy the other one open now all right so we've got these two little stands here we'll get these set up but first I want to take out our little friends so this has to be Timmy yes because Timmy is the one with his eyes closed so happy and then let's see this has to be Tommy come here Tommy little friend of mine oh they're so sweet together oh my goodness just a couple of fellas out on the town so special so special that's my favorite thing that um, Tommy and Timmy say they kind of like will echo each other in the game so one will say something like so special and the other one will quietly echo so special like my favorite thing that they say obviously and they're very cheerful and they really like encourage you they're very professional um, and they're wonderful apprentices to Tom Nook if you ask me they always have very sunny disposition I will say Tommy's expression is a little intense um, it's just you know where is he where is he looking? I don't know. It's a little intense of an expression. I find Timmy a, a lot more pleasant to look at, but together, they're very cute. You can't not love them. Now, the question is, do we put them next to Tom? Ah, excellent. More crab claw stands. I don't know if you've noticed, but pretty much all the stands in this set, they're all individually made for each little villager to suit their body type of how they stand. And then a couple of them across the board have had these little crab claws. KK, my friend, take a little bow for right now. Come hang out on the sidelines with us because right now it's time for Timmy and Tommy to make their debut and put them here together there's their little stands good thing there's room for two up here on the stage there's Tommy and there's Timmy so cute you gotta love it I love that they're in their little aprons but Tom Nook is like in his Hawaiian shirt. Look, this guy is retiring. He's ready for them to take over. He's had his, his go. He's ready to relax, and I respect that. I appreciate it. Next, I want to open Wolfgang the Wolf. <laughs> of course, naturally. Wolfgang is a cranky wolf. <laughs> Very cranky, but uh, I like a I feel cranky lots of the time and he's definitely a fan favorite although not necessarily one of mine but I do have a respect for him because I love his little jacket he kind of has like an outdoorsy quality really any of the wolf villagers I think they're a great design so let's open this guy up Wow, Wolfgang is huge. This is a really, really tall villager. Oh my goodness. He's like a big guy. Yeah, he's up there with Flick. Look at how tall he is. Oh my goodness. He's so soft. Wow. You know what? Now that I think about it, I've never had Wolfgang on an island 
So this is like kind of an introduction to him for me. I really like his little jacket. It's kind of like a bomber jacket. Yeah, but it has like that L.L. Bean sort of outdoorsy quality. I love the sculpt on this one. The way the tail has like an implied fluffiness because of how it like sort of jettisons out at the end. And as well, there's sort of like an implied fluffiness with these little spiky flaps at the back. You can really tell on this one how soft and fluffy all are. They're really so sweet. I'm kind of excited to set him up next to the other villagers to see how tall he is next to them. And once more, we have a little crab claw display. Alright, Timmy and Tommy, are you ready? You're gonna come sit down here. Everybody have a good time in the crowd. Let's see, we can shuffle. You can go right there. And put Wolfgang in his little stand like this. Perfect. Wow, he he's really a big guy. He is tall. Look at him. I love that they're all different sizes. So many times with like toy sets like these, they try to make all the characters the same size and it just doesn't work because some characters are taller than others, you know? Now, I uh, will admit to you fully, I've been saving some of my favorite characters for last and it will come as no surprise to me anyone who has been watching my videos for a while, that these two are some of my favorites. Here we have to close us off, Chrissy and Francine. They're little white rabbits, and they're sisters. Francine is the older sister, and Chrissy is the younger sister. We'll go ahead and open up Francine first. So you can see they're, they're color coordinated. Francine has got this like blue outfit on. They're both white bunnies, but they have like um, hoods on that makes their ears blue and white polka dots. I love Francine because she is a snooty type and I love, I just love snooty type ones. They're, they're just some of the best. Why do I like snooty type? I don't know. I just, I really like a fussy girl character. Maybe I relate to that. Uh, let's not, best not to think about it too much. I just really like them. And we'll take Francine out. Oh my gosh, Francine. She's just like I dreamed her. Francine looks fantastic. I'm happy I saved her and Chrissy for last because she, everything about her, I just love it. I love her little expression. Like, I, it couldn't be cuter to me than this. This is like top tier cuteness. I love the way they've got her polka dot hood. It has such a cool sort of mod 60s texture. I'm sure that's emphasized by her black and multicolored dress with these sort of mod dots on them. This little mini pop star look. I just, I love her and I love how she and Chrissy look together in the game. Excited to see what they look like together in person now. These these little Tomodachi dolls. They're so tiny and cute. Let's open Chrissy up. Now Chrissy is the younger sister, and Chrissy's dream is to be a pop star. And can you blame her? She's perfect for it. Take 
take the little stand out here and let's see Chrissy, you're here wow oh my gosh I'm, I'm just smitten with her isn't she perfect? look at the sparkles in her eyes I love that her nose is green her eyelashes are like this hot pink magenta color and then her dress is kind of like Francine's but white with multicolored dots and she has these lovely 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 polka dots all over her little head here I just love her big sparkly eyes she and Francine look so cute and they look just like they do on the cover of Bubblegum KK. It's probably my favorite song in this game and it gets stuck in my head all the time. I'm sure that there's some of you where all I have to do is say the name Bubblegum KK and you can already like call it to the front of your mind and sing it in your head. I don't think I was able to fully anticipate exactly how many little villagers this would be like I knew there would be quite a few and I knew how many were in each box but even so I don't think I fully anticipated it oh my goodness gracious these curls are this is it for me I'm so happy like I just look at them and I'm smiling because they're like just so precious look at all of them together these sets are fantastic if you like Animal Crossing or you know somebody who does you could just get one of these you know what I mean? you don't even need to get the whole set just get your favorite if that's what you like um, there is a third series coming out I don't know yet if I'm gonna get it because this is this is a lot of little of little guys. These are a lot of a lot of little friends. Um, but I'll I'll think about it. Uh, if you'd like, please leave a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite that we unboxed today. I certainly have my favorites, but you may have your own too, and I'd love to hear. Well, my darlings, thank you so much for watching and looking at all of these cute little Animal Crossing figures with me. I'm really loving this series and I'm, I just think they're so cute, so I hope that you think so too. I hope you all have a wonderful night and I'll see you very soon, my darlings.